So this is the launch. We're hoping that we're going to have this on an annual basis. The vision was the, the, the need and the hope to create a platform where we could have a deep, meaningful conversation as ordinary South African citizens. One of the big reasons that we are here is of course Archbishop Ndungane because he is the one that has created the space for us to be together. In fact, we leveraged on the fact that this year and particularly in September, he's celebrating 50 years since he was um, released from Robben Island and a number of other milestones and so his work in the church. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege celebrating 50 years since he was released from this prison. 42 years in the service in church, 20 years as an archbishop. This triple legacy is a phenomenal achievement and I would like to thank the Almighty God for preserving your life and the vision that he gave you to fight for the oppressed. Taking back to the island in 1963, I recall how a dream uh, that uh, the CEO referred to was born as I lay on a cold cement floor one night. It was a dream not just for South Africa, but for the whole of Africa. As prisoners, we faced many hardships uh, on the island, but we were kept motivated by the fact that our vision for freedom and liberation would be realized. If we don't act now in terms of universities, in a decade's time, it will be said that this generation, that is us, closed down our universities and added them to the ghost institutions of our continent. As we dialogue between the generations, I want to say to the young people here today, we need your energy, intellect, and creativity. We need your ability to think of things in a different way. It is this kind of energy that we are looking for in South Africa today.